Apostle Daps is the one to minister now, and I want you to just allow the Holy Spirit. Any place he wants to take you, let's key in, let's flow together. With Jesus' joy, can we celebrate God's general? Hallelujah. You can do much more. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. And shout Yahweh. Say Yahweh Elohim. Somebody shout Yeshua HaMashiach. The living God, the son of the highest. Can you say roar in Calabar? Roar in Calabar, O Lion of Judah. Say roar through me tonight. Can you make a roar? Just one minute. Roar to the Father. are open and men don't struggle hallelujah I see you have changed already you don't look like the man that came the first day something has happened inside something is growing something is falling away there are shiftings I'm here to announce a new dispensation a new timeline a new day Hallelujah. A prophetic generation is alive. Hallelujah. These are the ones that Satan is afraid of. Oh yes. These are the next apostles and the teachers. These are the sons of the prophets. These are those that will rise from Ramah. From Gilbar. Hallelujah. This is Zion. Can I tell you something? The real house of assembly is here. It's not Abuja. Somebody didn't hear me. The real house of parliament is here. Where laws are made from Zion. Are you ready to decree? What you say is what will happen. Ah, somebody say, ah. ah. In Birom, the land where it comes from, Plato, we say, ah, yeah, yeah. What is yours? I'm quite bummed. Uh, uh, Calabar people, what's yours? <laughs> I learned you people eat dogs. Is it true? No wonder I didn't see dogs on the streets. <laughs> I don't know whether the Calabar people or the Plateau people eat dogs. Which one eat more? Hey, Calabar people. Can you just laugh in the spirit? Just laugh. Hallelujah. And be seated if you can. Yeah. We're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. But tonight God is making history again. I've been tracking the glory cloud. And in all I do, I try to ask the Father to make me present when history is about to be written. It doesn't matter whether a child, a very young boy, or powerful prophetic national fathers around the nations. God has blessed me. I've traveled around the world. I've ministered in different places. But there's something in this place. There's something here. And it's my prayer that you will honor it. You'll guard it. You'll reverence it. Because out of this meeting, a new generation will come forth. Hallelujah. I have a prophetic word. I'm going to read it the way the Lord gave me before we move to how the heavens will want the meeting to be. But I want you to say amen and agree with every letter 
because the spirit of the Lord will blow what you're about to hear and it will leave this tablet and it will become a spirit that will walk in the streets of Calabar, Nigeria and Africa but this is what the spirit says out of the earth God is making history again God is taking the world by storm God is making a shout as the father of the universe God is taking charge as creator finally finally the calendar God bless you the calendar of a new face is being opened before you today and I'm glad to present to you the generation of the Messiah I didn't hear amen God has found you and he calls you the marked out generation he calls you the marked out ones your movement will be contrary to the movement of the earth God is pleased to find you the revelation of God is about to come out and there is no stop of this revelation oh my God people will not see you coming but you will appear swiftly says the Lord you will appear suddenly the shift of the earth shall gaze to Calabar like it was in ancient times so shall it be in this modern season I didn't hear amen I didn't hear amen the eyes of the ancient father will not leave you people will come to see and to learn of this spiritual technology of the birthings of revivals there is a generation called the fighting generation the warriors of Christ like the mighty men of David they will descend the wishes of heaven they will descend the wishes of heaven and they will go beyond to fetch the waters of life you will wrestle and you will war in the spirit your thrones will rise in warfare did you hear me your thrones will rise in warfare your generation will be those who know the secrets of prayer and warring you will become the transition generation between fathers and sons i didn't hear amen let your amen be consistent in the spirit while you are yet small the lord says your greatness will come out amen. just wave your hand to the father the dust of war will not blind your eyes the sounds of swords will not put fear in your heart I hear the sound of an army the latter day army the Christ army rising from this territory and the spirit of Jesus inspecting this brigade it's a brigade that will bring the Messiah bend your head where you want just go into prayer say father thank you we're part of an emergence we're part of an army the army of the Messiah the Messiah our weapons are love and joy oh yes come on i can't hear your voice thank you father we're part of an army awake and rejoice for your weapons are not carnal you are mightier than you can imagine oh sons of calabar oh daughters of the land ah you are more sophisticated than the ancient weapons of war says the spirit of the lord arise deborah arise and awaken the spirit of barak are you praying kataba shitaba thank you father take the music low keyboard go low i want to hear their sounds ah arise line up your shields lift up your swords and your helmets and push put on your boots 
For I have made you like the stones of David. Those who will crush the statutes of Babylon, the altars of Ashra, the mysteries of Molech. Your weapons are invisible, says the Lord. You will crumble the emblems of Babylon in my house, says the Lord, says the God of heaven and earth. You are my choicest weapon. Be praying. I'll be prophesying and just be releasing a sound. You will not believe what the enemy thinks of you. You're mightier than you have comprehended. It's more glorious than preachers have preached. It's more powerful beyond belief what is coming out in this prophetic moment. This is the day the ancients saw from afar. They desire to partake of it. Ah, but there is a choice generation. You will not believe. You will not understand what is in your city, O Calabar. I see crowns restored. Crowns of kings. Kings without thrones. The father putting them back to where they ought to be. That they may reign like Daniel reign like joseph reign this is the season where lost crowns are returning back to the heads of owners ah, you will know birthrights and inheritance you will understand the mysteries of birthrights in this season ah. oh my god fighting ones consecrated ones the Lord has made you mightier than you can imagine he is separating you from your father's house he is separating you from lineages of mortals and introducing you into the family of God I have treasured you says the Lord from the foundations of the earth you will be the return of my ancient wisdom you will be the return of my scepter of my authority of my glory of my image and my likeness thank you oh my god thank you i hear the sounds of rivers of waters waters of life crystal throne water you will rekindle flames and you will start fires that will not die fires that will not die fires that would not die oh my god thank you for the lamps thank you for the torches thank you for the midnight torches thank you for the lamps the oils tonight we thank you for realms of consecration for realms of purity oh according to dispensations and timelines let the lord arrange you let him arrange your spirit arrange your passion and your desire let him arrange you arrange you on the altar on the altar on the altar like the days of Samuel when the lampstand was going out to a generation of Eli the Lord says I will speak to you tonight I speak spirit to spirit begin to hear the voice of a new prophetic age the age of the lampstand the age of illumination Ah. out of the earth God is making history again from door to door from house to house from family name to family name from surnames to surnames the father is speaking genealogy genealogy generations after the order of Zadok after the order of Melchizedek God is speaking them all over the nations it's not a time to wait it's a time to press forth 
not to wait for popular preachers for popular apostles they will rise they will be nameless they will be faceless you have never heard about them on the facebook or on youtube but they will carry the power to summon the stars of heaven like deborah the ancient rivers will hearken to their voice there are men god is releasing in this hour you have not read about them in books you've not seen them on facebook on youtube they are called the faceless nameless treasures of the temple their faces will be like lion their faces will be like the eagle their faces will be like the ox their faces will be like man the four dimensions of the creatures in the presence of the father they will know the mysteries of the golden altar the mysteries of bowls the mysteries of harps the mysteries of the songs of prayer the lord will borrow their prayers like he borrowed the sounds of moses they will carry the power of the two witnesses revelation 11 they will carry the spirit and the power of moses and elijah two witnesses the two olive oils that produce oil that keeps the lampstand, the lampstand if you can be on your knees be on your knees and close your eyes don't look at me because i don't know what i'm doing i'm just being led by the spirit it's a prophetic gathering they that are sensitive will discern where the eyes of the lord is and where altars rise in this last days of the earth journey with us in the spirit journey with us like you did in the day of eden 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 carry us to the beginning restore the glory of eden restore the days of the fragrance of eden the smell of my son is like the smell of the garden that yahweh has blessed I see men rising with smell the smell of the field the smell of Elul the mystery Hebrew month the month of Messiah's rising ah. the smell of the burden the burden of the altar the smell of the burden the burden of the altar the smell of the tears of Yeshua the cries of the face of Yahweh the smell of the burdens for some of you of Nigeria the new Nigeria you smell her and the Spirit of the Lord will give you utterance on the altar to begin to call that new Nigeria into order <laughs> yeah. the smell of the fragrance of Eden the smell of the field that Abba has blessed command that field from the spirit command it with the words that are wind words that are breath words that are life words that are spirit tonight let it be the night of command can you command the dawn have you commanded the day spring command the dawn with the scepter with your scepter release the songs of scepter release the songs of springs the songs of the dawn command the dawn to take shape in the morning creation groans romans 8 songs groan romans 8 19 and the spirit groan there are three alignments of groanings tonight creation is groaning the sons of god are groaning and the spirit inside the sons is groaning three groanings when the three begin to pray the will of the lord the earth opens the earth will release waters protections gardens tables of life will open unto men 
Command the earth, command the earth to bring forth and to preserve the woman, the woman of Genesis 2, Revelation 12. Let the earth open, let the earth open and let it prepare a place God has kept for the woman. That woman is the church. The church is in her labor, in her seasons of birth. Ah, the church of Nigeria is in her day of coronation. It's a time of prophecy, a fulfillment of a, a word spoken by the prophets, the fathers, the Paeltans. This is the day of the revelation of the words of Nigeria rising to her prophetic destiny. But Nigeria must be called forth from the womb of prayer, from the womb of the morning, from the womb of prayer, from the dawn of the morning. This is the morning and there has to be a sound into the womb of Nigeria. Uh, then he showed me the river let your spirit eyes open then he showed me the river whose water give life revelation 22 that your spirit man may see tonight your spirit man may see see the invisible see the spiritual see the corridor see the highway of the spirit sparks sparks of water like crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the broadway of the city also either side of the river was the tree of life with 12 variety of fruits <laughs> And the leaves of the trees were for the healing, the restoration of the nations. You must see that tree. You must command your eyes to see. So that Nigeria from its foundation shall be healed. Shall be healed. The roots of Islam. The voice of sorcery that have been buried in the foundation as fathers. As the dream. The voice of the Sardona, Sardona, Sa Abu Bakr, those ancient voices that have spoken to the waters of Niger, of Benue. Can you begin to speak to those enchantments that are floating day and night spiritually over the altar called Nigeria? Oh, can somebody do prophetic prayers tonight? The Lord is taking me back 1959 59. I'm seeing things The covenants before independence What the fathers The Islamic fathers did To the inheritance of leadership Of Nigeria That the spirit of the Lord Who Walks outside time Not within the boundaries of time frame Will break those sorceries Those enchantments That have moved into the spirit of Nigeria. <laughs> hey, realign Nigeria to the covenant calendar. Realign Nigeria to the covenant timeline. Nigeria rise to be like an Isaka, an Isaka nation, a nation that is prophetic, that has understanding of times and seasons. Rise to your Issachar mandate, O oh Nigeria, to the day of the prophecy written concerning you. Hey! Borrow wombs in the month of Elul, in the sixth month, the month of Elul, not June, not June. The Bible says the angel came to the house of Joseph, to Nazareth, in the month of Elul, the covenant month. The prophetic month and borrowed the womb of an ancient young woman named Mary. God is borrowing wombs tonight. <laughs> hey! It's a night of wombs. Messiahs. 
Fathers. Night of Zacharias. Zachariah means the Lord remembers. The Lord remembers. Zachariah, remember incense. Remember incense. Remember incense. Prayer of the sense. Let the bowls be full. The bowls of the earth. Prayer of the sense. And the bowls of prayer of Yeshua, the high priest in heaven. The two bowls becoming one. The angel carried the fragrance. The prayer of Jesus. And the prayers of the church. Which is the sense of the earth. Mixed up. And poured back to the earth. That is what is happening right now. Pray Messianic prayers. Pray Messianic prayers. Pray Messianic prayers. Messiah prayers. Messiah come. Maranatha come. Spirit and bride say come. These are the prayers that will confront the devils that are ahead of us as a church. Hey! The sound of Rachel giving birth. Hey! Rachel refused to be comforted for her children are no more. Hey! The sound of Rama. Rama. Hey! <laughs> all over the internet, all over the nations, wherever you are. Hey! Carry your nation. It's a day of the voice, the return. Of the spirit and power of the Messiah to his house to inspect his house, inspect his altar, inspect his sanctuary, inspect the measurements of the worshippers, the measurements of the priest, the garments, oh, the spiritual activities of the church. Hey! The sound of delivery, the sound of dreams and visions that have been. Suspended by warfare. Yeah! Ministries the earth has never seen. Yeah! Apostolic assignments that the earth has not seen. Yeah! It's a birth. Yeah! Labor room. This is a labor room of the spirit. Where burdens of heaven come upon the earth. Where the earth carries the burdens, the spirit, the groanings of Yahweh. Where the shofar, the trumpet of life, the spirit that will awaken the sleeping church, the sleeping prophets, the sleeping brides, the sleeping virgins. These are the days of the voice of the bridegroom, the bridegroom of heaven. I can hear, hear in the spirit. The voice of the trumpet, the dead in Christ shall awake, the sleeping church shall awake. We sound alarm on the holy hills of Zion. We sound alarm on the mountains, spiritual places of Calabar. It's a day to press forth, push, you're almost there. Keep pushing, you're almost there, keep pushing. Oh, we can go like this for seven hours. For 14 days, for three years non-stop, rotational prayer, 24 hours, tabernacle of David. Hey! Receive eyes of the altar. Hey! The eyes of prophetesses and seer. Hey! To see what the Father is doing. Receive your burden. Receive concerns of heaven. Concerns of heaven. The burdens of heaven. The alignments of churches. The alignments of tabernacles. The alignment of altars. Altars of Yahweh. The last day altars and shofars. The alignment of the generation. The warrior pride. The warrior pride that will bring the king. Yeah! 
In the six months, the angel came to Nazareth of Galilee and came to a house. There were many houses. There were many houses, but it came to the house of Joseph. There was a Davidic prophecy that was waiting to be fulfilled. Today is a covenant day for somebody. The spirit is coming to you right where you are and picking you to begin a work. Somebody's portion <laughs> refuse to be ordinary. <laughs> this is the day, this is the time of the altar where the candle of the Lord is burning, and there is a return, return for the remnants of Zion. These are the days of fulfillment of prophecy where the ordinary amongst us shall be like David. The strongest shall be like God of heaven. This is the day of the Lord has come. This is now my time this is now my season this is now my moment for the day of the Lord has come this is now my moment this is now my hour this is now my day for the season I've waited for has come ah. Take away my pain, take away my shame. You are he whom your fathers shall praise. You are he whom your brothers shall praise. Why? Your hand shall be on your enemy's neck. Oh. You're like a lion who will dare to face you. Hey! You are like a lion who would dare to wake you up. Your eyes are red. They are red like wine. Your father's house will bow before you. Your father's brothers will kneel before you. Hey! 
He's turning everything in obedience to Christ. He's arranging everything in obedience to Christ. He's uprooting everything in obedience to Christ. He's shifting everything in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy God, Spirit of the Living God. He's the Holy Ghost, Scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of the Age to Come. He's moving in obedience. He's shifting everything. He's shifting everything. In obedience. In obedience to Christ. Rearranging, rearranging. Rearranging everything. In obedience to Christ. He's working everything. Oh, 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 Symbols, symbols. Of the living God. Come on, bring it out. He's the Holy Ghost, scepter of the King of Kings. He's the Holy Ghost, sir. He's the Holy Ghost, spirit of the age to come. He's changing. He's changing everything. In obedience. In obedience to God. He's moving everything. Yeah. He's moving everything in obedience to Christ. He's shifting everything, yeah. He's shifting everything in obedience to Christ. He's raising everything, yeah. He's raising everything oh. in obedience to Christ. He's the Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, yeah. In the foundations who resets foundations who visits men according to the time of life this is a time of life hey. oh. let the spirit deal with you now it's not me. Take a look. Mm. God is doing something strange in this place. God is working silently in this place. God is working something new in someone's life. God is anointing someone discouraged in this house. God is raising tabernacles 
in Calaba. God is restoring wasted seasons in someone's life. God is repairing broken altars in this place and he won't stop he won't stop till I look just like Jesus he won't stop he won't stop till I look just like Jesus he won't stop he won't stop oh, 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 oh. till I look just like Jesus he won't stop and he won't stop say God is doing something strange in this conference God is awakening the spirit of watchmen in this house oh God is pouring secret oil on someone's head you may not know it you may not feel it you may not see it you may not sense it you may not understand it you may not know it it may not be real you have never felt it you have never known it you have never walked in it it may not be real you have never felt it you have never known it but yet it's true listen i say god is georgian the altar of Babel in Nigeria. Hey! God is exposing the secrets of
Passing through. And sometimes God doesn't go the way you are thinking. In case you missed it, the king was passing through the house. And there were a lot of releases that was taking place. A lot of mantles that were released. Anytime it's a praise and worship session, you may not understand. If you sit down during praise and worship, waiting for the preacher man, you may not know it can be through the praise and worship. God has released what he wants to release to you. If you are blessed, lift up your hand, begin to bless God. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Amen. Permit me to break protocol tonight. We're going to call God's servant up right away. Can we celebrate Daps Gawang? Awesome, awesome prophetic ministration. This gathering of these few days is a gathering of the generals. And another general has entered the house. As many as 40 years ago, he started a prayer camp. You get that? 40 years ago, he started his first prayer camp. Here, where you have Abba Potakot. 30 years ago, he started another prayer camp in Kotonou, Benin Republic. He has another prayer camp in Togo. He has another prayer camp in Cameroon. I think Newi also all over the place if you manage to have one prayer I think you'll be able to tell God I have tried but a man who has multiple prayer camps all over both in Nigeria and outside of Nigeria and he has been pushing these visions for revival that is why my spirit and his spirit we click because any man that is out for revival I must go with that man. And we are highly blessed and highly privileged. I see your life changing and turning to another level. And he came with his beloved wife. Can we greet Ma Stella Okarafo? She's here in the house. Mommy, can you just greet the church? Microphone, please let mommy greet the church. Come on, my people, what is wrong? Yeah, praise the Lord! Hallelujah! You are privileged to be in this mountain. You are really a privileged person to see yourself in this mountain because in this mountain.